right now the journey has begun. Praise the Lord. So I want to thank God also to be a part and person of this great day. And I say, so we commanded that day. We said and declared that this place becomes an altar. For the first time we spoke like that. And even for the first time of it, we, we collected an offering to make sure that the priests who are the teachers at that time they have enjoyed themselves. Somebody say it, Amen. 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 It's only Jew who does not understand what his examination is. I was uh, showing one of my great friends, Reverend Wilfred Uhuru, not Uhuru Kenyatta by the way, but I think later they were born together or they were born from the same village. But he's here with us here. It's called Reverend Wilfred Uhuru. Uh, he's a great man of God. Uh, before I proceed, because I want to invite him to come and say what, um, I, I showed him that I saw something which was written here uh, at the school, uh, 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 among the school motto, and I was very excited. I told Pastor Uru that this is one of the wonderful words I always use. But I want to thank God. I'm very grateful, Bishop Masharia, even for sharing with us this day to give us an opportunity that we can be able to share the victory together. Somebody said, where there is defeat, you are alone. But where there is victory, there are what? There are many friends. Praise the Lord. So today we are gathered here with all the friends. Everybody is here because of the victory. But if it was defeat, you are alone. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, there shall not be any defeat again from today in this school in Jesus' name. I want to call my friend Reverend Wilfred Uhuru to come and say a word and just say hello before I proceed. Give me some few minutes, I'll be done. I have a very simple word for you today. Just to thank God. We don't have any other stories. We just came to thank God because one thing we came, we have come to assemble in this altar to give God thanks. Reverend Uhuru, please. Uh, if I speak swearing, it's okay? You can get swearing, it's sour. Uh, Buona sifiwe. Uh, pia mmesikia majina yangu ni Wilfred Uhuru na nime I have accompanied my my reverend here na mimi sina mambo mengi ila tu ni kutoa neno moja la shukurani amen na hilo neno linatoka katika kitabu cha Luka 17 na mstari wa 17 it's so simple to remember Luke chapter 17, verses 17. Bibine inasema ya kwamba, Yesu akawaponya, uwe, akawaponya wenye ukoma kumi. Lakini mmoja akarudi kumuambia, thank you. Alipo rudi kumuambia asante, Yesu akasema niliwaponya mukiwa kumi, where are the nine? Na Bibine inasema, Yesu akamwambia yule mmoja aliyokuja enda zako umefanywa mzima ukoma ilikuwa ni ugonjwa ya kumaliza kama ni vidore inakula vidore sinapaki nusu kama ni masikio yanaanguka lakini wale wengine tisa walipona lakini mmoja aliporudi Yesu akamwambia kwa mzima Kama vidore silikuwa nusu sikawa nzima. Na siku ya leo kuna vitu sitakamilika katika maisha yako kwa sababu ya kurudi na kumuambia mungu wa sante kwa kutuwashesa kufanya yale tumefanya. Na mkisema hivyo next time it will be double or triple in the name of the Lord. Yes. So it is so important that ilo neno thank you is so powerful. Kwa hivyo Asante, nami ni najua matokeo ya takuwa makubwa. May Jehovah bless you mightily. Amen. Already we have crossed the gap. Maji mefunguka. Jordan is already. Everybody can cross. Somebody say amen. amen. I say everybody can pass because already there are people have gone ahead of us. Amen. Yes. As I said last year, and I was very excited to stand here, just to say a word of thanks. But before that, it is a victory that the people was brought and one of the great things that we said last time the people who are here they remember and we say when we are in a gathering in an altar like this that time that year last year we said we are converting this square to become an altar somebody can remember that 
I said somebody can remember that? Yes. And when we say it has become an altar, the Bible says before you go for war, invite the priest to speak. And I remember I was invited as a priest. Together with other men of God, we stood here and prayed for the war that was ahead. Hey. Amen. Amen. We stood here as the priest. And the soldiers who are the still young people who are here. And I remember I prayed. All the parents who are here. They stood and prayed for their kids. As the priest, we said that as we converted this ground, became an altar, it was the beginning for the change of Nyandaro High School. And we have begun the journey. It will not stop here. Because you have a great heart. Unamoyo wa kushkuru, najwa kuna watu wa kona roe ya jagwa yabu tu. Hata kama watu haku pata hiyo mungina mepata. Oh, kishukuru tu, umefungua mlangu. Nasema umefungua mlangu. Nasema umefungua mlangu. Because even after this, there is a university. After the university, there is a job. After a job, unaitaji ya kujenge nyumba. Ya nazapata kazi na ashinda na kaoa na kana bibi yake wakai wawiri tu. Na wewe bado mengepia, unakula ma... 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 Mungu tutu naandelea kulamenti. Inachukua tu mungu, azungushe mtoto wako kuelewe. Manaiso sifuwe za. And that's why we are here to give thanks to God. And I want to appreciate. I know parents are celebrating. They are going home. Some of them, they never remember. Even the teachers, I want to salute my great teachers. And you want to be a minute, you want to be a minute, you want to be a minute, you want to be a minute. Even today, I meet them. Na nikiwapata na simama kwa wewe zikuwa simama simama zamani na kaka kando wa pita kwanza na simama tena attention. One day I was preaching in a place one of my teachers came in a meeting and all she was there. You come here, well, I remember who passed. So that's it. What are we doing? We're going to chain on Magot. And now who can lay hands on the other? I say, oh, okay, your office is the one that trained me to speak English, and but me, I can I can lay my hands on you. I want to thank God for the teachers. You have done a great work. I know people may not celebrate you. People think it is easier. And as I said last time, that when we talked about limitation, there are families where people, they have limitation. There are families, people have never gone to high school. They have never gone even beyond standard two. But the children God has given you, the Bible says they are arrows. They are what? Arrows. I, I said they are what? They are arrows. They are arrows. And the Bible says in the hunter's hand, you are hunting a house, you're hunting to go to America. One woman where I'm, uh, I'm pastoring in a crew. An old woman. Very old. But one good thing, God gave her a wonderful daughter. And I remember when we prayed for that girl, she went to America to do a master's. She didn't even know that one day, she said, I'm going to go to America. I'm going to go to America. I'm going to go to America. Because you have an arrow, America will be there. Kwa sababu kuna mshale mkononi, Marekani utafika. Amen? Leo tunaongea, last year, she came, akanyambia, ndoto wangu wana graduate. Anaenda, mnaenda, nimeambitu America, ni embasi wanaenda la aje, nika muandikia barua, nika muambia, this is one of our members, mama enda America, na uambia, pasta, amesema mtoto yako wako ngambo. Musiana, alianda kienyeji, kienyeji, tu kienyeji, kienyeji. Mwambibu zako zijari kienyeji. Aka fika mama, aka fika emba, siya kambiwa, go for graduation. Aka pawa visa. Aonja kani ambia pasta, wamenipatia visa. Tata tunafanyala aje. Minapasa lakini, naeta chukua kwa watu kuenda Amerika. Nika mwambia mama enda Amerika. Aka niambia, pasta mimi ninaenda Amerika kweli. Ati alifika... Chomo Kenyata, anapigisho wala ina ingie kwa ndege Anachanga, anachikuna kuna Hei mwalani, na hii mbuwe zote jinaendala Amerika Nika muambia mama kwa sababu kuna mshale mkononi Marekani itakuita Na wewe pio liyo na watoto Wanda itakuita Maana tunaruni kushukuru mungu Na asima hiyo baraka pe ingie kwa wengine Haka niambia pasta kama unana ni joke na game 
Wake ni kupigia, haka nipigia simu kutoka Amerika Haka nipigia, tena jina ni kamuambia mama Nipigia ni akikishe, ni katoka plus one nine nine yo zini seti ya wapi My friend, Korea, maybe you may know Plus one nine nine, ma plus one two two Najwa kuma Amerika ikona Tenyata tujui Haka nipigia Haka niambia, hey pasta, wa amenya Na amena, kumbulita na amenya wapi Mi ala tujui kikuyu, ambia na amenya wapi Mi na amenya Kume kumenya kwetu ni kuishi Ambia tunachua Nika mulisa neke mama hati Niko, niko Amerika Nika mulisa wapi Nika mulisa nini mekupereka Amerika Susa ni Amerika ni Amerika Kwa zungu wana niangalia hivya tinaenda mahali Ambia mama hata wakiangalia kama manki Apanali weza Kanyo wanakuja kuona hatu mbili ya wajahi Yona asante Hata unaenda hitu hatu mbili lakini kama umeza Mungu hata kuinua zaidi Uliko mahali pale walipo Na ndi unakuta leo Tunasherekea Kuna watu unasherekea Leo ki Kama tungechindwa Watu wanachikunjaga Mini kwa nchezaga mpira za mani Nikima shule Niliwambia was in a mixed school like this one Sasa Walimu walikuwa na chezaga na sisa Ikolo juwale coach Anadataka wana mchana na wakama ndiyo girlfriend yako Anakaa karibu wako ndiyo Fan number one Ukikuwa karibu na kori Hata weka hivi Lazima utapita na we Hata ufunge na kichwa Hakini si ndiyo girlfriend yako Haa Na hiyo naambiwa hini wangufu sana, hata kama mguli mebunji Taka leo ni kwa na shimo hapa Yani kwa sababu unataka kuwanesha wewe ni wangu Lakini mukishindo mukifunga, mukifungwa kila mtu anatokeala Manager anapotea, coach anapotea Unabake tuwe nye mnu ulizadala hata leo hata hata tutakule kuwezi Unatiana moyo, wanasemaga kwamba Defeat is an offer, is what? Defeat is what? Sema kwa saoti, sema anofal Sema kushindwa ni yatima Unakuwa manini? Unakuwa wa peke ya? Unakuwa manini? Peke yako Lakini ushindi hiko na mashapik Na leo, tunamurudishia mungu shukurani Sema shukurani Tiamene sema shukurani Sema shukurani Na lakini tunasema ya kwamba Maandiko inasema walirudi wakasherekea Daudi Alipochukua sanduku la agano Mbili inasema ya kwamba wakakuja wakicheza Kwa nini? Walikumbuka kwamba presence ya mungu Iko pamoja na wao Na sisi tuko hapa tunasherekea mungu Mana tunajua tulisema That breaking the limitations of families Hatukwelewa Wengi ni kawambia Even though some people wale munapikara watoto kwa bidi Unapigaka na unajua limitation ya jamii yenu ni watu wa standard 2, standard 0. But God has given us victory. Somebody say the amen. amen. I said somebody say the amen. Yeah. I said somebody say the amen. Yeah. One thing that I remember very well. When we are coming back here to give thanks. When we are coming here to say God thank you. It is not by power nor by mighty. But by what? And the spirit of God, I know. The spirit is simple. Mwalumu anasimamanga, anafundisha. Kitabu ina ira, sila basi ira ira. Kuna mwenye napataka I, na kwenye napataka E. Unaulizaka ni nini na enderea. Kichwa ni hiyo, siyo kichwa mbili. Hakuna kutu anakuwa kichwa mbili, ni mwata. But one thing I want to appreciate God today. My son here. And I want to say, the journey has begun. Tell your neighbor the journey has begun. Please, tell me the journey has begun. And this could be an envy. Why? Today we make a covenant with God. Somebody say amen. amen. I say we make a covenant with the living God. That God, Yandaro High School, it's your school, God. Amen. That you never leave us nor forsake us. Yes. You shall be with us. Yes. Even them from four, Wamaka him. Yes. What this is the last year we fire? Yes. This one they can do better, not for competition. Yes. I say they shall do better yes. than what we witness today. Yes. Because the God who lives, the God who has given you the victory, is still existing and he can give another victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bana isu wazifiwe. Mama mwote siku mwote kaniambia, pasa tuende safari pa. Mtoto yangu inaolewa. Tunafika hapa. Mwote kinyo nabalishu wapa huku. 
Mara ya kwanza napeleka unafikiria wanaa kuniua. Ninaumbiki. Jamani ni Jehova ni mzuri. Sema Jehova ni mzuri. Sema ni mzuri. Baba naenda tunafika safari pake harusi inafanywa hapa inajua pleach brother 4500. Kauliza ni? Heshio. 4500 yenda kwa mtu mmoja lunch. Nilikuwa mimi na bibi yangu tukaambiwa hizi card special. Na huyo mama alikuwa nimemwambia watoto wake walikuwa wamekula kangara. Wame kangara ni pombe ile inawekwa Mauritius. Inawekwa nini? Kila kitu. Ile rebra inakuwa kule kwenye inakuwa. Sukari nguru ndio Mauritius. Na nini ile nini? Si Mauritius na hiyo ni serious. Inawekwa memera memera ni nini bwana yes twimbi inawekwa hiyo sasa inakuwa hapo katikati ija graduate iko hapa tu katikati hivi ukikunywa hiyo unakuwa kama maitani mara nyingi watoto wamekula kangara wako tu hivi wanatembea tu wako he he bari he he bari bari nikamwambia mama kuna zaitani kwa hiyo nyumba imekuja na tutadhiri nayo polepole mama nipo nafasi nikaita mkutano kwa nyumba yake ana watoto saba mtu anasema kunaenda za watoto wengi bado tena wa kuande ndio maana ananiuliza wewe unakuwa na mtoto mmoja mtu anataharibika hata wakiwa saba kama hawana Mungu wataharibika tu watoto wakiwapatia Mungu ndio hawataharibika yes ndio tena watoto wakiwapatia Mungu aliyechumba mbinguni ndio hawataharibika yes nikamwambia mama tufanye mkutano hapa nikawaita nikawaita ambia yao wote wakuje hapa wakuje wakakuja wote mpaka leo nafurahiana mpaka mmoja ameolewa na mudhungu hata kama mudhungu ni mudhee ni mudhungu tu at least <laughs> anajua papa the education program kwa hiyo unajua ukishaolewa na mudhungu ulizoi kama huyo unaweza kuja unaepo jaru nepo gati ile mudhungu mudhungu yeye nepo awe kuja tu na mudhungu vijana wake Mungu akashuka kwa hiyo nyumba akatembea bwana tuita harusi tunaingia i say my brother tunaingia harusi yenye ambayo inatetemesha dunia helicopter zinakuja kila mtu anakimbia kwanza sha nasema ah hii ni mtoto anateremka baada mmoja akauliza mnasema la eh uongozi inatoka juu na wengine mna kampeni na magari na na mwenye anatoka juu sasa nani yako na uongozi si ni mwenye anateremka na chupa Yeah, you know, I wanted to say this that plus because to na functions nyingi moyo wa shukurani mwambie mwanzako moyo wa shukurani moyo na shule ikiwa imeandaa shukurani fast keeping service that god is the number one i know sahi ukweli kabisa tuseme ukweli na jehova kwa hai kama hii shule ya bishop ingekuwa na zina hizo nini mini score 4.00 ama 1.11 kila mtu anapitia huko rodi huko chini nasema eh hiyo shule tunajiona kweli hata mwalimu ukisema kwamba nasomesha wapi nasomesha pale pale lakini sasa hivi everybody hata mimi mwenyewe ndio nimeandika leo kwa facebook nasema i am going to nyandarwa hai to celebrate with my people nasi mtu kaniuliza do you have kids there nasema every everybody who did for for last year was my kid oh i don't mind them Wale ni nini hata mimi niko hapo katikati ana Yaani mimi ndio hapo niweza kuichi Sasa hii umeshika mtoto wako aliyepata eh wewe ndio umeshikilia ndio sema ni wangu huyu unajua anakuwa mwerefu kama mimi Kwa nomba ndio wako na kwanga na hiyo tabia ya ajabu ajabu mtoto akiwa mwerefu sasa hii baba wako hapa kila mtu na suti amengara hako straight kujeni tuchukue zawadi lakini akipata 00 waenda hiyo shule uone huyo hiyo maneno imito hiyo shule aende ulize ili imeendelea Siku moja mtoto wangu ame ameitwa shule anaitwa sijui ilikuwa disciplinary case ama nini nikamwambia mama yake eh eh mimi nikwenda aende uone nikafika shule nikamwambia one of the most disciplined clean and the quiet boy is kamwe alisema aje mimi kesho ndio namchukua officially ya wewe tena next week nikafika kusalimia mwalimu kamwambia mwalimu thank you in fact mimi ndio baba ya huyu jamaa mimi ndio namwaga uniform si hata mwalimu unajua lakini ingekuwa shida ningemwambia eh sikwaje hapo sio 
<laughs> Imesema aje ni ukweli kwa mama Mungu awabariki. Amen. Nasema wa mama Mungu awabariki. Amen. Leo wale wamefika ndio leo najua wakumbaka na baba zao hapa. <laughs> Lakini wale wamepata vile inaonekaniwa baba yako amepitia huko ngarole kangolika. Ako huko chini tena. Anasema ni mlima ilikuwa mrefu. Ningefika. Sio tayari nitafika next year. <laughs> Nataka nishukuru bisho. Eh. Tunasambaza asante mama. Tupate njia hapa. Mhubiri atawaombea mkija hapa form 4. Sema mwaka hii ya 2014 nilikuwa na wakipita. Hii mwaka wa 2014 Mungu aliniambia mambo mawili. Aliniambia hii mwaka wa 2014 ni ya maadhabu. Parents, let me use here. We want to bless these children. But God in heaven, who gave us the victory, He can. Wazazi muli muli yenda wa. Wazazi kujeni, kujeni. Utarudi huko tu. Wakuna mdo la kuliza. Nini ni wanya watoto? Sisi ni wama wapitanjia. Eh, obiti. Wale wana fikia. Watoto mna chambia pole pole. Fish. This is we in this altar, and this altar is enough for all of us. Wazazi tunasubuka watoto wote. Walimu kujeni tusunguke ya watoto Tunataka tuwa bariki Wajeni tuwa zunguke Tuwa zunguke Tuwa tangazie Tunaanza tu Mtiani hiko tu mwezi wakumi Lakini tumeanza tupamoja na mungu Kabla hii madabao tumeitakaza Na mwakajana tuliweka mafuta ya mungu hapa Hii ni kani shule inaimuopa mungu Sema aleluya Watoto inuwa mikono yenu mbele za buwana Hii mikono tunataka mungu mwenye Ayona ndi utaka yandika mtiani Wasasi wote Wanyosheni hawa watoto mikono Nena neno tumbele za mungu na muamie buwana Nimekuachia watoto hawa Nimewakabidi mikononi mwako Mandiko inasema ya kwamba watoto wa mtu ni mshale mikononi mwake Ambaye hawata kosa Emu yao maayu wanataka kulenga Tachika jina wa Yesu Kristo Asante buwana mabwana Babo inuliwe na utukuzwe Upewe eshima Wageni wote kila mtu tu Lawe mwalimu kila mzazi kila mtu Tafandari shimama tumama Shimama tu tunadaa kubarikia watoto Tuachirie neema Tuachirie kibari Kama tulisema lasia breaking generation or limitation Leo ndo tunaya kumfunja limitation Ingine tena ya nyandarwa Kama naini ndo imekua mwisho Tunataka ikue kumi Tunataka ikue zaidi Tunataka ionekane watoto walio hapa Kama mungu wa mesaidia Mungu wa mebariki Mungu wa mefanya mako Baba tunachirie neema
Baba katika jina la Yesu. Tunafunika shule hii na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Maneno mabaya yanaoendelea mashuleni. Tunayakataa kwa jina la Yesu. Mambo ya uchawi. Mkono wako ambao sio mfupi yes. ukanyoshwe kwa shule hii. Yes. Wote wanaoenda kukaa mtiani. Yes. Baba tunaomba yes, ukaguze mawaso yao. Keep yes. them super memory in the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Ya kwamba watakumbuka yote waliofundishwa. Yes. Baba ninakushukuru kwa vile wewe ni mwema. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba tukiamini. Amen. 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 Mungu awabariki. Mungu awatende wema. Mungu awahifadhi. Mungu awalinde. Mwaka huu baraka itakuwa zaidi kuliko ya mwaka jana. Amen. Nasema mwaka huu baraka itakuwa zaidi kuliko ya mwaka jana. Na roho ya uoga iondoke katika hizo pastor Lawrence kutoka Nakuru na Reverend Uhuru ndio ni mtendaji kwa hivyo Bishop Macharia I'm so grateful my friend. Thank you for giving us a Please both thank you very much and all the invited guests please I'm very happy. And all my friends we have been together for many years as ingine tunakuja hapa tunaweli pamoja Mungu awabariki. I'm so honored. God bless you. The DEO Nyandarwa County Nyandarwa Central uh, Sub County the chairman BOM the chairman PTO and the honorable guest present our honorable and uh, esteemed parents, our dear students, I believe you are moving on well. Let me say that uh, we found it prudent to give thanks to our God even before we start the prize giving because it is by his doing that we are celebrating today. I believe we are doing what is required of us. Thank you indeed. Uh, because of the interest of time, I will now invite uh, our principal, Mr. Mugai, to make uh, his speech, or to give his speech. And there are students in various fields. It is also a forum for motivating, inspiring, encouraging the students who are ongoing. We also use this occasion to celebrate the outstanding performance of the 2013 KCSC Form 4 class. These former students who have excelled in the KCSC are excellent role models to our continuing students. Most of those who are in the equity, I believe they are here with us, the two boys, the one boy and the girl who are both the equity, and also the one who was here last year, but one, Esther, I believe they are a great source of inspiration to our students when they come. They realize, and also realize that they can make it if those ones have made it. Besides, they inspire out of confidence in them that examining a KCSC is a dream that can, comes true when they believe in their capability. They invited the key speakers. We invite key speakers to this forum to provide great mentorship to our continuing students. This occasion, moreover, plays the parents on their academic progress, achievements, and happening in their school. Last but not least, this occasion brings together all key stakeholders in our school to celebrate the fruits of our, of our labor. Our guest of honor in today's Thanksgiving, we are celebrating a mean score of 9.156, posted by our last year from four class 2019. From this group, nine students scored grade A plane. Among the, the nine, I'm also proud that four girls were one and five boys were also with the A plane. Indeed, Three out of the four girls with grade A playing put our school on the map as they were ranked position four, five, and seven in Yadaro County. In addition, that one student scored A minus. Compared to 2012, this was an improvement from mean score of 9.09. The number of playing grade A's in group from 1 year 24 to 9 year 2019.
the impact. No. As you all know, we promised our students that any one of them who scored straight A would be rewarded a new laptop, and this was written last year. The impact is surely there for everyone to see with the fact this year we will give about nine new laptops. All the same when we are having a meeting as a, in a small aggressive meeting, some of us were a bit, we are feeling like we may not be able to give all, all our nine A students, but we say God, we believe in God, is God of providence. So we believe when you are all here, you support that, pro, that program, please let us ensure that you do the needful to ensure that you empower us to the next level. So, I want to say, the impact is really there for everyone to see with the fact this year we will give nine new you know, for sure, but very the key to the raising maximum productivity. However, there is a gloomy picture behind this good performance. I am very worried by the lower grade of the 3D grade posted by this student last year. It is a serious cause of case of concern that hurts me when a, when a school of our caliber posts such a grade. I call upon parents to take matters of academic performance seriously every time the school invites them to discuss them. These students continue to perform disheartenedly poor and their results hurt our overall mean score grade negatively. Hope you have heard that from parents. We are partners. Let us not believe that it's only the school that does whatever we do in teaching you and also contribute in terms of mentoring, encouraging them and giving them some hope and not following with him when he doesn't perform because quality may not help but talking to him, listening his concern or her concern is something that we should look at as a parent. You have already highlighted the current from four classes. C and D grades in the last year's class were let down since the school invested so much in that plan. Henceforth, they have promised that such grades will be a thing of the past. This is a time for course of sodas. Grade C's and D's is something of the past. Still Missouri. Still Missouri. A new craft that. I want our home for to feel encouraged, supported by us, so that we don't get these C's and D's. Those are not just for your high school. Those belong to other schools, not in our high school. And I want to believe that you're going to work so hard to ensure that you remove those great C's and D's from our school. Henceforth, they have promised such grades are being on the path. To you, parents, help us eliminate such grades from our school by impressing upon your children to the importance of hard work. At this juncture, my dear guests of honor, allow me to register my heartfelt appreciation to the various parties that have, been, have made us come this far. Our vigilant DOG chairman, that has been very supportive, here as the stewardship of our passionate DOG chairman, Mr. Nelson Kuriya. A wonderful parents led by the PG chairman, Mr. Manera, who have given us an overwhelming support. My powerful team of diligent teachers, support staff, who have rallied behind me. My special position goes to the form four class of the 2019, which is the group that we carried for this means of 9.156, and more to, to the award, to the ones who scored grades A and A minus A. Indeed, we are very proud of them. I wish them success in all their endeavors, and those who will remain wide open for any help or consultation you may need now and in the future. I wish to appreciate my beloved students who have continuously shown thanks for knowledge during their big dreams. I can also acknowledge the great support of our account director, TSC Madam Karani, and the account director, TSC Madam Lita, as their partnership with us has helped us plan the school smoothly. And also our DEO has been very instrumental in coming to this school and telling us, telling us what, you have, what you have made as a promise. We are saying you want to get 9.5 and above, because you never got there last year. You are not going to balance that target, but we pray God to give us 9.5 and above. I hope that's going to be hearing, because when you got here in school, when you have got to give us success, you always done it. So, the very confident that it's going to happen, and let us also pray for that to be realized in our school. 
This year we have set a target of 9.5 or 6.5. To realize this new benchmark, the following have been put in place. A triplet agreement has been made among the school's administration, teachers and students that they will work hard to earn the realization of this benchmark. High level of motivation for all parties will be enhanced and maintained. Maintaining discipline as a key ingredient to earn the realization of this benchmark, which is very is a very paramount issue for my students. Through our career department, we have organized for motivational speakers, especially all the students of this school, to inspire and enlighten our students about the various careers of their, which are out there in the market. We shall also have more active involvement of our parents, for whom their support is very critical in this undertaking. And timely, ultimately, I request all stakeholders to actively partner with us to take our school to the next level. Our chief guest, I cannot fail to acknowledge the various mental role played by other strategic partners in the realization of, of our goals. I would like to single out Equity and Cop Bank. The two banks have, have been at the forefront in giving men scholarship to some of our bright students, like I said earlier on. I would like to say that the over and above of taking our students to Equity Bank, they also carry out a very rigorous leadership program that those boys and girls come out very philosophical and very mature when they leave the bank, when they leave university. We have seen what they have done and equity, please keep it up because we are happy with your programs for our students who have left this place we have played. Our guest of honor, madam, allow me to inform the current that learning this school to this height has not been a smooth sailing. The following challenges have been on our way. Over time, the enrollment has, has been on the rise, causing a strain on the boarding facilities. Our idea is very small, considering the life operation we have in the school. Our guests of honor, we also have a good number of bright students who are financially handicapped. This affects their performance since they are on, on and off during school time. We also have a good library structure, which needs a bit of specific in terms of provision of books that are relevant in our curriculum. You can see the school will be broken. Here, come the year 2015, we need to do something for the school so that we will be able to appreciate what God has done to our school for the last 50 years. I believe the school has turned out some very productive people who are very successful and therefore it will not be ignored in terms of development and teaching in this school. As I conclude, I would like to urge you, the current student, to continue working hard. Our form one, two, three, four, continue working hard to realize your dreams. Without hard work, it is impossible to realize your full potential. Make good use of the time and resources you have here in Lower High School. I believe in you and trust that you have what it takes to go to the school to the next level. Remain focused and have your goals clearly set. Note the biggest room in the world is the room for. Uh, marginal and of no help to our students when they leave this place. Our chief guest, thank you. I want to thank you most sincerely for accepting to come and share with us today. Once again, I thank all of you for attending this great occasion and, listen, and listening to me. God bless our school. God bless the Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And because it is in and this is what he says, and it lives for so many. Yes, it is said of a good leader, that is the chairman and the principal of this institution, it is said of a good leader that when the work is done, the aim fulfilled, the people will say, we did it. Don't worry, they'll say they did it, but you know it's out of your leadership. God bless you. Thank you. A vision. We have a vision of propelling this school to an excellent institution in all ways, both in terms of academics, in terms of character, and I dare say also in terms of physical infrastructure. As the parents will see, and even our guests, the physical infrastructure of this school has completely deteriorated. 
For a long time, we have not reinvested in improving the physical infrastructure in this school. And I want to say, as we get to the 50th year, our 50th anniversary, I think this is also the time to break camp and improve the physical facilities of this school. Because they will be part and parcel of the excellence in academics. They will be part and parcel of motivating our students also to perform at their best and also improve their character. These are all aspects and factors that are intertwined. We have been very hesitant of overburdening the parents as a board with increased charges, harambes, and all those things. Because we are conscious, we are, we are sensitive about the well-being of our parents. I come from this district and I know how poor many of us have been. But we have not remained poor. I know now our well-being has improved and now we have moved. And I think we can also say we are no longer poor. Where are you wrong? So we must be proud of our accomplishments and because we have improved now, I think we can afford to invest and reinvest a little more in our school. And I want to propose that as we get to celebrate the 50th anniversary next year, I think we should make a special giving to this school in terms of donations, in terms of whatever we shall have to improve the physical Passion, passion in whatever we do. Somebody said without passion is like we are dead. And indeed, a renowned writer said that uh, death isn't the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside us while we live. That is lack of passion in what we do. And I tell you, passion makes the difference. And that's how we are going to elevate this school and take it to the next level. In terms of discipline, we, are, we have been resolute in terms of discipline. I know at times we have faced challenges even as we are taking a very strong position about the discipline. Because some people have not agreed with our resolute position. But we have said, no more knowledge, discipline, discipline, discipline. Because without discipline, we can never get anywhere. We will be cheating ourselves. Like somebody say, yes, talent will take you to the top. Talent is good. It will take you to the top. But it takes character to retain you there, to sustain you there. So character and integrity are non-negotiable values if we want to succeed as a people, even as a nation, let alone students. Even in this country, the country director just talked about ethics and issues of corruption, they are only, you know, they, they are only spreading because we have departed from the path of values of integrity and honesty. And that is why we need role models to be good examples to these students. And for the, dear, for the students, I want to assure you that we will do our best, but you have your part to play. And the world has become competitive, very competitive. But I can have said, never forget about character and integrity. Even when we are looking for people to hire, we look for people. Even as they have A's, we also want to know about their character especially in financial institutions, those of us who are in banks and insurances, 
insurance organizations. We are very, very careful about character. And I want to end by saying there is a very rich man in the world, one of the richest, I think he is the fourth, an American known as Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is a man who came from grass to grace because of being a disciplined investor. He did not cut corners through corruption to steal money from people, but he has become one of the wealthiest, the fourth richest man in the world. He had this to say about character and integrity, that in looking for people to hire, look for three things. One, intelligence. Two, energy. And three, integrity. And he advised, and he knows better, having built an empire. He knows better than everybody else that if they do not, if they have the first two, intelligence and energy, and they lack the third, that is integrity, he said, Beware of them, they will kill you. They will kill you and they will kill your business. So students, we are looking for men and women of integrity. I know that is the mission of this school, producing men and women of integrity. And with that, you can't go wrong. And I say with that, the sky will be the lower limit. May the Lord bless you. As you are doing it unto the Lord, because the Lord himself will reward you, not the people. Welcome, my sister. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, all protocols observed. I don't have the full list of everyone, but I observe all protocols and uh, I say that I am honored to be in your presence this afternoon. <coughs> As uh, your chairman has said, uh, those of us who know the Lord know that everything you do, you will be accountable for it. And uh, when I was invited to come, I pray. I said, Lord, give me a word for your people today. And uh, I believe this is not a mistake. What I am going to comment on, one of the things I was going to talk about is character. How many people have stood here and talked about character? The Spirit of God is speaking to us today about character. I might go on to preach, but let me start on what I was going to present today. And first of all, I appreciate your chairman, Mr. Nelson Kuria, uh, for inviting me uh, to officiate at this function today. I am privileged, I am honored, and I'm also blessed to be among you to officiate in today's prize giving day. This is especially so because although we have not reached that day yet, the students who are here are great men and women and have been given an opportunity to make a contribution to their future. I am honored to be before you students um, and even the parents and those who support them and the guardians. But please realize that amongst these students are high caliber professionals. I'm not seeing very well. Uh, maybe I should take my hat off. <laughs> and wonderful mothers and fathers. They will get there. I have seen last year's KCSE results and they are impressive. In the last, in, in last year's class, 88% of the candidates attained the minimum university grade. 
And uh, as has been mentioned, of worthy of note is that four of them were girls, and they appeared uh, in the county road and put Nyandaro High School on the map of the county. Congratulations, girls, and congratulations to the leadership team, the BOM chairman, PTA chairman, and the principal, and your staff, and even the parents and guardians. Today, I want to comment on two things that should matter to you students if you are to realize what you are already positioned for. Remember, you came here on merit. There are many who would have liked to come here, but they had to go elsewhere because you had already earned all the places that were available. The two things I want you to, to note, and I'm going to comment on, are one, education and character. Let me begin with education. And also, maybe at this point, say that uh, when I told my children I was coming here, they told me, Mom, please, make sure you do not give a long speech. <laughs> Students will tune you out. <laughs> so, um, I have done my best to cut down. Fortunately for you students in this school, you are privileged to be in an institution which is able to deliver education to the highest standard possible. This is evidenced by last year's results, which were impressive, both in academic and co-curricular activities, which I have been informed about. We to do as well as we should, as our only responsibility was to go to school. And someone else told you that today. Your responsibility is to learn. And uh, facilities and everything has been provided. And I dare say to the to you students today, you really have no excuse for not doing your best. If you do your best, you will bless yourself, your parents, your guardians, and be an asset to this nation. I want to share about my story. I personally took education very seriously and studied hard to rank the top girl in Eastern Province. And uh, as I share this, I want to say it is to the glory of God and with a lot of humility that I will share things about myself. It is to the glory of our God. He has enabled me. Uh, so I was ranked the top in Eastern Province many years ago in the early that enabled me to go further and discover that I was good in figures. I went on to pursue a career in accounting and finance, and this has not only been useful to me in making a living, but in my personal life too. My education in accounting and finance has enabled me to make financial decisions and investments which continue to provide for our family. It is also education that has enabled me to work and serve in the many places that were mentioned earlier and I have in many other places that I have gone to. It is education that has played a major role in making it possible for me even today to come and officiate. Therefore, students, I urge you to treasure this gift and opportunity that is education. I want to refer to the marks that I heard about. The students who are admitted here have 300 marks and above. Is that so? Do you know that those are good marks? When I heard that, then I was disappointed that some people did not do well. I know of a school in a remote place um, that does not admit students who um, have 300 marks. They get 200, 190. And in that school, the highest, it's a new school, the highest candidate had a C plus. Their marks are below 300. So to hear that 300 has not attained a high grade 
was a bit of a disappointment. And I am sure that the 10 point something we are talking about is attainable. If marks of 200 can attain C plus in a new school, in a remote place, how about Nyandarwa High School? Motivate the students, because this is what uh, also my children say, don't, don't go and just read a speech. Tell those students what you have been through and how it has helped you. Uh, one of the schools, this school actually, where I did attain these high marks, was a school where we did not have running water. We washed our clothes at the river on Saturdays only, and we ironed our clothes with uh, uh, a charcoal iron box after we came from the river and they dried. And uh, uh, we carried our clothes to seven that time. Only two did not get placed in high school. We all did well and went to places like Alliance and the Muru Girls and Loreto, all those schools. I was admitted to Alliance. So uh, that's why I was saying you're in relative ease. If there, there isn't much else you have to do. Please make sure that you do well. Um, I went on to Alliance Girls where I told you I worked very hard in primary school. I went to Alliance and worked very hard also. In that school, I was a school prefect, member of several clubs, and a member of the tennis team. I was happy to hear that there is a tennis team here, and I was like, my sisters or brothers who are there. I love tennis. Uh, and when, when we were growing up in Nyandarwa, I was, uh, my home is in Tumaini. And I also stayed in Yahururu, if we had a class setting, covetousness. You need to think about that. What is, drives you? Actually, this will become very important when you get uh, to a work situation. And uh, as uh, the chairman was saying, when you're working in a financial institution, there are so many opportunities. To, to do things that are not right. And covetousness can drive us uh, to engage in an ethical and even criminal things sometimes. Therefore, think about that character, uh, quality, contentment versus covetousness. Is your happiness hinged on material things? Then there is decisiveness versus procrastination. And I think this is what made me get that poor grade. Procrastination, using time poorly. That school of character uh, says that decisiveness is the ability to recognize key factors and finalize difficult decisions, which all of us face in this life. And then there is determination. Determination means that you are going to purpose to accomplish right goals at the right time, regardless of the opposition. Even if your body doesn't feel like it, you keep on going. If your peers are doing something different, you refuse to do what they are doing, and you stay with what is right. Determination, uh, the opposite of determination will be faint-heartedness. And then we go to faith. Confidence that actions rooted in good character will yield the best outcome. I think this is where I, I, I strongly stand. I have faith in the things that I have, uh, decisions I have made. I have faith in God that he will bring me through. Even when sometimes I make decisions that seem not to support my aspirations of growth in careers, etc. I will share something uh, with you shortly. Um, then there is honor, which is respecting 
those in leadership because of their higher authorities that they represent. And that, of course, uh, the opposite will be disrespect. I also picked out orderliness versus confusion. Now, you cannot do much if one is disorderly. Please, uh, <laughs> if you are disorderly when young, you will be disorderly when old, and even miss school meetings because you forgot, etc. Uh, there is also self-control versus self-indulgence. There is virtue versus impurity, and many others. Please refer to them. As you go through these character qualities, it is imperative that you identify the qualities to start to work on in order to realize your aspirations. You must be purposeful and resolute. Remember, it has been said that the enduring impact of our choices is not what we get, but what we become. Our character makes us who we are. Surround yourself with the right company. Mm -hmm. And remember the Bible in 1 Corinthians 15, 33 states, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good morals. Therefore, acquire good character and keep the right company. Um, as I conclude, I want to briefly share with you some of the, you know, some of the difficulties, difficult decisions that I've had to make, and sometimes they didn't make sense, but I did make the decisions because I believed that God was true and was speaking to me. As we realize that vision, Unajua niliambiwa na mtu mmoja kwamba wapigiwa asante sana. Haya <laughs> tupati tu huyu si ah shosho yuko hapa si waona ah kweli ona mtoto wa shosho naye anafanya vizuri ndio hawa mapenzi kemkem waona mwingine tena yu haja. Haya wengi wengi tu wengi wape walisema haya asante wapige picha alafu tuendelee. Tufana waito Tulfena waito yuko api ya uh, alio Kwa mzee, asante sana Asante sana Ishara za umoja Munaona vide mapezi na umoja Zinafanya kazi pamoja Zile values za bazo tunazungumziwa hapa uh, Lazima zitalipa Bila shaka yeah. Uwe tayari na preme ntawe tayari Sharmi, tumpigie makofi gitao Asawa yuwaja Namona huu yuwaja, asante Atupe makofi, Sharmi Naam, asante sana Sababu ya zawadi hii Diambia sisimame uh, Muda ni bado Kwa hivyo Tuzwa Mbona ukai kule Taenda bali Haya Huyo Mepokea zawadi Haya Tende Robert Karioki huyo Tumpigia makofi Robert Kidato tane A Kalama uh, Tisini Tumpate Kevin Mwaura Kidato tane na Ambaya lipata Alama Temanini na tano Tumpe makofi Mwaura Somo la baurujia ima ilimu viyombe Ndiya huyo Ninaoba test of honor Tisa Ninaetolewa Makofi Death cup Death cup Wamefanya vema zaidi Hapuatiwe na Joel Zamu Joel Zamu walitoka kidato chanine na Alipata pia pointi the manini na moja Joel Zamu pointi the manini na moja Mwaja, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ila 2013 students, wame kufanya kazi.
kiongozi jema zaidi tunawashukuru tunasema bora awapanulia mipaka na mfunguliwa mirango ya baraka heli nafanaka maishani mwenu hata baada ya kikao hiki Mungu awabariki sana Mungu awabariki sana wanafunzi wetu kwa mwaka jana kwa nini mtu akoroa mwili na nafsi nani hapa sasa mwili kisha drop there is no way mwili unaenda mwili unaenda kanyumba mwili namba hapo sasa lazima usalimie hewa lazima usalimie na ninaona watu watu wanapigoka na majini sasa mtu atamekuwa na majini si majini kile kinapigwa ni nafsi yake maana nyinyi ukiingia na muonani mtu anapiga mtu maana hiyo amani mtu anapiga si watu wanaitaka mtu napiwa 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 ukimkienda hapo unapanga mtu nauliza mnapanga mtu nafsi huyo mtu wewe inakuwa retractor ile rafu inapigwa nalielewa ndio Yesu akasema in Matthew 10:28 akasema msiogope anayeyuo mtu lakini muogope nani hai hasa tukabana wale wanaishi na leo Biblia Mushiogope anayefanya nini? Alisema anayefanya nini? Lakini muogope naye. Because a son of a man you know na wakati wa kuota nafsi inakuwa separated from you inakupeleka mbele inafanya kila sababu zote inakuelezea inakuleta information inaweza kwa mwili. That's why unataka hata wakati mtu unaweza ota. Si unaweza ota baada ya kuamka unatatemeka. na huko ijua lazima uingie katika another new covenant to break that covenant. Nani ana wadi? Another lady she was pregnant. Then the mother tukaza alikuwa tuzae hapa na watu wawili tumeombea haya kama kwa Italians. Alikuwa ameota, alipoota kwamba nyoka ile kule imeumba hapo. Yeye akuchua. Asema ah, chini. After three months pregnancy came from there 18 years she never conceived miaka 18 na nane leo ina kona baby boy na baby girl na unajua mtu wa dhuwa na baba ungrateful amejaliona na sadaka ya muhimu acha kuja nao chaji kusema bwana and bwana yake alikuwa amefika stage ya kuondoka duniani yani and for the relationship yani that is five years aliandika nyumba ya wengine tu lakini leo unajua hizo mtu hapo Tulimkuta hapa sasa utakuta hapa sisi. Wale mabanda kwenda kwanza tuna dorodhi bibi nyingi na mkoa. Huyu ni mwanaume aliyekiwa hapana miaka ingia mahakama naye kama mtu mke. Sasa shikoshi. Wewe sito. Alipota yuko ile nyumba hapo and next said the pregnancy was over. Another pastor dream the same dream nyoka imekuja imeuma yeye hapo kwa tumbo after sometimes the man was sick over he actually continuous he had a pimwa everywhere no that's why kumbe katika ulimwengu wa roho wanaingia mlangani bana sisi ananda bali when you dream my sister uko na nyoyo yako tu vizuri na una habari
Una kaka aje. Ana mtu siko na kuonanga vizuri. Una kaka kama gecko lisa. Ni ndo nataka siko hiko hivi. Hata mara kupoteza mtu vitu ovyo ovyo, baba unachuliza na siku zote tumekaa over one year two years na hajawahi kosana. But now what has happened all of a sudden? Kumbe without knowing the meaning he was shit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The common one is the one that people close the river. There's a different people in the river. The ocean, the lake, the bones, the, the dams. Ni hilo vitu zote. I will be able to explain in deeper to understand. Ni kwa leta nani kwa leta. Because covenants. Another sister dreams that are under. Mutu wakabita tu atati kuna wazima mechukua na toruka na. Na hea na mkimisha kwa no. Mkimisha na kwa no. Have you. Unfortunately, we will have to chica. That lady is not there. That woman who was running away, the 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 bad man woman who was running away, and and then she went. And after six months, the marriage started becoming a trouble. When I was mentioning that I was buying, and I was saying you have been a witch. 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 Elders wa kanisa kubwa na watu wanasimama kwa wanakosaka watu ndio mama anasimamia kikundi cha wamama baba anasimamia kikundi cha wamama You know kwa mwako sema a new covenant Sema tu kwa sauti sema new covenant Sema tu kwa sauti sema new covenant I want to break every covenant that was entered Na 
hakuna mtu ananiambia kitu na kama amsake nivae ile nivaa mtaenda birthday muniache nikaona hiyo roho imerudi nikaona tumeangalia na kama kondoo anataka kupigana lakini tukaenda birthday tukasherekea kwa hiyo rafiki yangu mkubwa nashukuru Mungu sana 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 kwa kumfanya rafiki yangu kwa hivyo naomba uungane nami tuweke mikono yetu pamoja tunapomkaribisha Thank you very much for accepting us. Kutukubali kuwa marafiki. Marafiki tu, you grow in it. Bwana aswe saa. You don't become a friend. You will never become my friend. You grow to be my friend. Manielewa, you know, 
I don't become your friend. Hata kama umenipatia milioni, ah uh ah -uh, you grow to become my friend. And the friendship is growing. Amen. Na mimi tumejuana hiyo muda nimewaambia muda mrefu tu tulikuwa tunamwangaisha kidogo dogo tu tulikuwa tunamfanyia initiation kwa bibi unajua alikuwa msichana mdogo ameolewa sasa amekutana na ndugu hapa wanakula mara mbili kwa usiku Sima kwa sababu yetu alikuwa anatupikia chakula saa moja kamili 6:30 kama prisoner sasa tukiona movie tunasahau tena atukukula tuna tunakuwa serious atukukula Ato kitulia lazima atuko Ya hey, alikuwa nafanya vizuri kwa napikia Napikia mme wake mapema na Iyo kwe mshede Ya hey, chui kwa mba wana ume wanakula tu marambili hivi kwa Tatu tatu Mami mungu akbariki sana Ufanya kasi nzuri unaniona aje sayi Mbana <laughs> sifiwe sana So Genesis chapter number 26 Ninaendelea kuongea I'm so touched with my sister um, um, uh, by uh, Metoa Ushuda Ukweli. Um, on Sunday when we were speaking here and I talked very passionately about enjoining to evil covenant without knowing. Kuingia katika maagano mabaya bila kujua. Na some of them are to jui. Mgini ni viyama, mgini ni nini. And my sister said she's not the only first one. Kwa sababu there is another brother also right now. Amerudisho kwanda kufanya kazi equity bank. Alikuwa mengia katika same covenant bila kujua. Walipo enda ugangani huko kitui. Wakapewa vitu za kurukaruka kutoka kwa kwa nini maji ya kioga subuhi. And the guy had worked. He has a master's degree from the university. Masheno University. Alafu the man went alipereko na mother in law na, 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 na bibi yake pia After those things happened wakavuto kabisha And then all of them they came back home And uh, you must understand And we want to insist ya kwamba Teaching shambao tunafundisha wapendwa Ni mambo ya naokuwa ya kweli practically Ambao shosa hivi katika second service nataka kubiri Kuhusu the second indicator of the active evil covenant Sema active evil covenant Iyo ni nataka kufundisha na ni kuambia vina nataka The very active evil covenant ni poverty Sema poverty Now Genesis chapter number 26 I want to read the Araf Niruke Deuteronomy chapter number 15 Mandiko na shema And there was a famine in the land Beside the first famine That was in the days of Abraham Isaac went unto Abimelech The king of Philistine Unto Gerard Kindly before you go deeper The book turn with me in the book of the same same Genesis 24 And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord blessed Abraham with all things. Sema all things. The man is sema all things. And Abraham said to an elder servant his house, he ruled over all that he had put, and prayed thee that the hand of my thigh. That's when Abraham was saying. And they said, verse number three, I will make uh, to swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, thou shalt not take a wife unto my son, Of, uh, of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom they dwell, dwell. Genesis 25 and then uh, 25 verse number 5 verse number 5 the Bible says and Abraham gave all Sema all oh. hey, please now Beriana to uh, I will not take long I will take only 30 minutes if not 25 Sema all, all. and Abraham gave all he had unto Isaac all to who? who? then 26 there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham and Isaac went unto Abimelech the king of Gerar and the Lord appeared to him and said go not down in Egypt dwell in the land which I shall the indicators of the active evil covenant in the life of people indicator ambayo inafanyika katika maisha ya mtu tumesoma genesis 24 was rich by what yes. 
Pale kwa nyumba unajua za zingine hawasomaki Bible please. Una una unanisaidia tu. Abraham was rich in what? I said how many? I said how many? 25 verse 5. What does the Bible say? I say. So my baba. Abraham akamwachia pas 24 inasema he was rich he was what rich. so if you are living for somebody that something that you have yani umepatia mtu vitu ulivyo navyo hapa nyuma unaitwa tajiri na umepatiana zote what do you expect for the same person now this what do you expect from the same person ebra na jesus alienda dar es salaam akaacha kanisa ina watu imecha Alinisini aliche watu. Si watu walikuwe kwa hapa. Si wamecha. Oh. Nani hapa? Oh. Now Genesis 26. The man aliachiwa all. He was a beggar. Nasema the man aliachiwa kila kitu. Alikuwa beggar. That was Isaac. Maniko inasema Isaac akaingia umaskini paka wa kuteremka Egypt. Baka the man was mortgaging the wife. Anasema huyu ni dada kama sasa mimi sasa hivi sema huyu ni dada yangu tunatembea naye. Kama kuna mtu akona dawa ali hapa ndani you can see me candle please. You know when you have a very beautiful sister kama ile eh Reverend Jesus ni dada yangu mrembo sana nikitembea kwa tao naambia kwa ndugu unaweza nipatie credit nipige sistema ama na ile kifanya kama naongea hello unaweza kuja hapa juu imbala ndio tunakunywa chai so ule ndugu kama anamhitaji tukutane imbala hoteli ya nguvu ni wapi hapa ile chai ambayo iko 200 shillings si ya 50 bob Food. A man who had everything in chapter 25. In chapter 26, the man has nothing. Ndio jua kwamba kitu kinaitwa hivyo covenant maagano mabaya. Ah, wale dada ametuambia alikuwa na drive noa. Brother alikuwa na drive nini mami? Top of the ISIS. ISIS. In the next minute you have nothing that tells you their covenant kuna maagano mabaya ambayo yanafanya kazi katika maisha yetu na usipotambua milele no matter what you have it will come down i say no matter what you have haijalishi lazima utambue madhabahu ambayo yatatetea kilo licho nacho milele the same same verse Isaac akajaribu kufufua kufukua visima vya nani Amsome Biblia vizuri Alijaribu kufukua visima vya nani Sio yeye alikuwa amechimba ni vya nani Na alipojaribu silifaulu kwanza akifukua zinazibwa unani elewa akifukua zinazibwa ukiteremka zaidi ukisoma maandiko inasema Isaac alipoona hiyo bivita ni vikubwa ali change formula tell your neighbor change the formula ai jamani sema kwa sauti change the formula ali change the formula Isaac maandiko inasema badala ya kuchimba kishima ali alinua madhabahu kwanza Chimba wanaziba unanielewa kile unajaribu biashara zinafungwa unajaribu kazi inaisha sasa change the formula nasema change the formula Isaac akabadilisha formula maandiko inasema akainua madhabahu akalinda jina la Bwana na akachimba kishima
kisima na akajenga hema yake kisima ni source of living ni kazi ni biashara alafu ndo akaweka hema yake alianza from the altar alianza na hema ama alianza from the altar naulisha alianza wapi if you want to destroy any covenant that is evil because the indicators of the evil covenant is his poverty poverty is not even sometimes they have the presence of money there is money ujaona mtu anapata laki moja mshahara lakini anavaa pati pati jameni haujaona mtu anapata mamilioni uko naongea na my brother leo ananiambia boss wao ya milionea multimillionaire anatoka pale nje ananunua gidheli ya 20 shillings ah haujaona watu stingi nauliza haujamuona mtu stingi hata baba na mama baba ko na pesa kwa nyumba anakuja kuhesabu nyama pieces nauliza na hii nyumba hii nje mnapika pika hivi Anaangalia kila sahani mwenye ana inspect. Unani ana ora kile? Mzee mmoja alikuwa na basi inaitwa Swimi Kabiyeta ama ni wapi kule Nandi Hills. Mkale nje. Ameweka pesa zilikuwa pesa walisema it was almost a million ameweka mabazi yake amepewa. Huyo mzee he cannot even afford to rent ka ka lodging mahali aingie aonge kwa sababu alikuwa anafuata mabazi yake kama inspector. Anaingia mtoni sio story. Anaingia mtoni anaoka hata baada ya kutembea basi na tower anakaa juu ya mawe kukauka wasa wengine wakajua huyu anakwara na pesa na wakashtua pesa inakwara kwa mfuko let me tell you poverty is not the absence of money i say it's not the absence of money it is a behavior huyo mzee akachukua anakaa anachukua ameweka nguo pale ameenda mtoni jamaa akamfuata and wanasema the guy alienda na over 450 alikuwa amechukua kutoka kwa mabasi yake he cannot afford aingie kakarumu achukue kaloti nyata ka 200 unaniona amen bwana yesu sasa amen sometimes bitu watu wanafanya sio humility let me tell you poverty it's a one that humiliates people say poverty can humiliate you poverty is a satanic agent about inaingia covenant unakuta kwamba katika jamii mko na gari mko gari ya nguvu kama hii ya remedy za KBZ nasema ai mafuta 200 okay 200 kufika church 200 kupanda na hapo barabarani eh nani Ulita hapa tuku tuku ni ngapi baka tu? Na leo hata twendi wengi. Unaona? Unaingia tuk tuk. Unashuka not that you don't have a car but because you feel like you are wasting money. Unaniona leo? Yes. And I came here in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant of poverty. I say every covenant of Say every covenant of 